Good evening everybody and welcome to another video here on our channel. Today is another Tech Time episode uh, because I finally received something that I've been waiting on. Well, mostly I've been waiting on funding, but it's finally here. Yep, the Chief Tech. CBP3141 SASS. Because it's got shitloads of SASS. No, that's not why. That's because it handles SAS drives as well. It is a um, what's it called Sa SAS slash SATA backplane for my server case, uh, which you can see in this video. I'll pop out up somewhere here uh, with a little card thing. Um, oh, it's got some features as well. Check this out: patented anti-vibration design supports SATA one, two, and three and SAS 1 and 2 drives. Not bad. Triangle metal key lock design supports up to 6 gigabytes of data transfer. Oh, 6 gigabytes per second. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so it fits four 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch hard drives in this 3, 5 and a quarter inch base. So it's quite, quite uh, compact. It's got aluminum material for e effective heat dissipation and an 80 millimeter cooling fan with speed switch. Somebody should have done some autocorrect there. Uh, I know Chief Tech is from Taiwan, so that's probably what happened there. Um, anyways, as I mentioned in my previous video, I have checked with them and uh, this has this janky fan thing. So I'm hoping this one is better than the ones that were in the case. So I don't have to swap this one out as well. But as Chief Tech told us, you don't void the warranty by swapping the fan. So if I have to go for a Noctua, no problem there. I'll just buy one and stick it in. Anyways. I swear I did not Linus this. I swear. It's not broken. Anyways, let's get it out and see. So, let's get this out, shall we? Alright. Oh, oh it's stuck in there, isn't it? too much there. Put this over here. Oh, nifty, no tape. There we go. No saw. Alright. Oh, this looks like the protector as well. Okay, and let's put this over here. Good centimeter of protective foam, which is very nice, and, oh, not good, hopefully it's nothing, it might just be spare parts, or like screws or some shit, are stuck in there, okay, so here's the fan at least, so that's easy, easily ac accessed, which is great, actually, Okay, I'm beginning to see some some uh, features here. Yeah, because this is not oh, this is not a RAID card. So it has ports for every drive, which you have to connect. And it's got some. Okay, so that's probably what the hell. Okay, I'm assuming this little jumper switch right here, it says, what does it say here, 35C, no 55C, 60C and 65C, so that's probably the temperature control for the fan, which is a 
bit of an odd way to do things, but hey, it ain't stupid if it works. Nice painted finish, got the Cheap Tech logo on there. Yeah, I guess you gotta allow them to do that. Let's have a little look see here. Supposedly push it over here. Okay, so that actually just shows you the lock. And okay, 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 let's have this out. Oh, you get a little SATA cable. That's nice. Hopefully it's well it's not probably not the best of quality, but if it works, it works. Okay, so yeah. Quality feels on par as I would say. Expect. Yeah. Very good actually. Nice and sturdy, not cheap and flimsy. Kind of like that. Not even the plastic is cheap and flimsy. It's not bad. So look here, number two. Oh, yes. So this is what the rattling was about. Screws and key. Oh keys actually. And more cables. So I'm assuming I get one cable for each. Oh yes. If there isn't one in here now, I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed, I've gotta say. Ah. Chief Tech never disappoints. Yeah, sliding in and out feels A little bit of a resistance there. Nothing you couldn't fix with a little bit of loop on it, just on the rails. But that's what you get when you have aluminum uh, riding up against aluminum. It will bite. So if this were a part that I were going to use a lot, to like if I was planning on swapping out drives a lot, I'd probably lubricate it. But I'm not planning on swapping drives every two days or so, so I'm just leave it as is and uh, chuck in some drives. So let's uh, head on over to the server room and uh, see if we can populate this. Okay, here we are. It's a bit loud in here now. Uh, we'll just, uh, some more info on why that is coming up in the video sometime after this. It's here. I've uh, unplugged it and pulled it all out of the rack. Uh, I'm not going to have a, too much of a look into the rack today because as I said in my last network uh, video with uh, Dunphy that it looks like a rat's nest behind there because I'm not done. As you can see I've still got a few cables that I need to patch over and uh, do some work on. Uh, but I just haven't had time because of family issues and kids and sickness and stuff. I'm tired of this now. Let's get some work done. As some of you might have heard, um, I had an issue with cooling. Uh, I had a warning on the system becoming too hot. Uh, the CPU was running a little bit too hot. Um, so I had to chuck in this brace with... Uh, filter on, no, uh, with the fan on, yeah, there it is, and also I did chuck in the fan in the five and a quarter inch base, over here, so, don't you camera work there, uh, okay, come on, there we go, so I'm going to have to remove the fan, but I'm going to have to remove the entire unit here to remove the hard drive which I stuck in there, and also we're going to move over these, I'm um, not quite sure which one, but it was one, of these that had an error today saying that uh, failed to read the smart status. So I'm going to have to buy some more discs. And I was looking at a uh, couple of, ish of uh, different ones today, so I'm gonna have to invest in some more hard drives. But then again, that was the plan, anyways, because two terabytes and it is set up in a RAID configuration where I only have access to two terabytes instead of four, but this one is for backup. Um, I'm gonna 
be looking more into Unraid, so I might change the entire setup, but first, get some hard drives. But, that's not what we're here for today. Today, we're going to check this one in. There you go. Job well done. Bye bye. No, no, it's not that easy. Gotta do it properly. Gotta do it properly more. Okay, so this is supposed to go in here somewhere. But, to do that, we're gonna have to remove that hard drive and that fan. So, let's get cracking. I just checked and knew the manual that comes with it does not contain any instructions whatsoever on where any of these go. So that's fresh. cables because all the information they have on here about what kind of speed they support is serial ATA that's all they say and of course they're made by the well-known brand Lian Fang so yeah <sighs> nope I've got these black cables which I like these are really nice I've got one angled uh, connector and one straight, but the best part of them they say here. Okay, camera can get that. Come on, focus. Here we go. SATA 6 gigabyte, which is what we want.
So I've had this in my server now for about a weekish, and it works great actually. I've been doing some testing. It doesn't say on the box if it is hot swappable, but I've tested it and it is, which is great. A couple of other things that I do like about it is that uh, you get four hard drive places in the space of three, five and a quarter inch drives, which is nice. Um, the general build quality and the paint job on it is superb. I love it. Uh, and also, one thing I noted that the drive base, they don't seem flimsy, which is really nice. And the thing just looks great. Come on, you can't argue. It looks really cool. Now, to the things that I don't like, because I'm afraid there are some with this as there was with the case. Uh, and Chief Tech, this is constructive critiques, not making fun of you or anything. I, it does have this same generic, what the hell is this called? Sunan fan style. Well, this is Sunan from the case, but it has the same kind of fan. It's non-brand Chinese scrap fan inside. But it's quite, it's not as noisy as I would expect. These were a bit more noisy. So I'll give you that. Um, I, <laughs> I had a hard time mounting it in the case, which it is made for some reason the holes don't match up so I only had to use half of the holes for some imaginary reason there probably is but it just doesn't fit correctly so I don't like that too much but um, then again the included instructions more or less trash uh, as you can see here Doesn't say much, does it? Uh, also, uh, the power connector, I don't know why you stuck, the, or they stuck two in there, as you can see here, but I'm only able to shove one power connector in it because of the, they're, they're so tightly squeezed together. I, I, have, I don't have any adapters and anything that fits. So, but it, it works with one, so I don't know what the second one is. Maybe they messed up and just figured out, oh, leave it in. And I don't like the way they, well, but that's more on my side, I guess. But if the SATA connectors were turned 300, 180 degrees, it would make my life a lot more easier. As you can see, it, it I do have to bend the SATA cable. I'm not too happy about it, but I'm going to leave it there for now. It works. So, um, I didn't like the way the drives were mounted to the drive caddies. That's stupid. Um, they they screw in from the bottom, and you have to have like these really flush head screws, which means if I lose one of them, and there was one too few, uh, but if I lo lose any of them, I'm screwed. I can't mount the drives in the base anymore. I've have to glue them in or something. I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna have to I have to request some more screws for that. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, there was um, the, the fan controller, that was weird. Uh, it had one of those jumpers that you switch, like the, the old clear CMOS jumpers had that. And it wasn't, it wasn't percentage of fan speed, it was degrees, uh, I don't know. There was no indicator on which one, on what it measured from. So if it's drive speed, it will never reach 60 degrees, I hope. So, I don't know, um, doesn't say anything in the instructions, so I'm just going to have to wing it. Other than that, I love it to bits, I'll give you that. It is ac absolutely what I wanted. It, uh, it, it even supports locking the drives with a standard generic key, but uh, it works, it works. Uh, for all its purpose, it does work. So yeah, I'll give it that. Um, other than that, there's not much to say about this backplane. It works. It's not a RAID card, so take that into compare uh, into your head. If you're buying this, you will use four ports on your motherboards, 
as long as you use four drives. So just so it's said, and you don't hang me afterwards, that's how it is. If you like reviews like this, please consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the little bell notification in uh, right next to the subscriber button uh, because I know there is a bit of a delay on when you get the emails about new videos. I think there's like two weeks now and it's just ugh, horrendous. So click the bell notifications to be notified instantly.